Another interesting process is the isothermal process, which is, for instance, constant temperature. In a PV diagram, for instance, we have isotherms, which are, for instance, lines that go in constant temperature. The work is very interesting here. The moving boundary work is the integral of PDB. We need a function of uh, pressure with respect to volume in order to do the integral. One of them could be ideal gas. Remember that PV equals MRT and then we can plug for instance the pressure such that the work is going to be integral of MRT over V dV from V1 to V2. Since the mass, the constant and the temperature are constants we can get them out of the integral and then we can have 1 over V dV. This will lead to a natural logarithm. So the work is going to be mass times the constant times the temperature times the natural logarithm of V2 over V1. Once again, if V2 is bigger than V1, then the natural logarithm is positive, which means this is expansion. And the other way around, if, the, if V2 is less than V1, then the natural logarithm is going to be negative, which is compression. In this sense, Q minus W equals delta U being the first law, let's remember that delta U being a state function, it only depends on the initial and final state, is going to be M times CV delta T, always, no matter what. Since the temperature does not change, this tends to zero. And the first law is Q equals W, such that the heat is going to be mass, a constant temperature natural logarithm of B2 over B1.